in France as much as uh, than Italy, who won the competition when it was held here back in 1938. But standing in their way are the formidable Vikings. The Italians will have to be in tip-top condition to beat the Norwegians and advance to the quarterfinals. A steady defense, a combative midfield, and that all too familiar lightning quick forward line. The 1-4-3-2 is the traditional Italian approach. Coach Maldini is well aware that Italy will have to be at their best to beat Norway, a side that is defensive, physical, and well organized. It's going to be tough, and Maldini knows it. Sono un scommettitore, non ho mai giocato, non gioco mai a carte, sono un po', non sono un, un accanito giocatore, assolutamente, proprio ho altri pensieri. The starting 11 is likely to welcome back Alessandro Del Piero. Although he is keen to get on the score sheet, he knows the vital thing is his side qualifies for the quarterfinals. Ma io lo spero, spero che, che arrivi questo, spero che arrivi che arrivino i gol dell'Italia, che l'Italia ne faccia soprattutto uno più degli altri e che, che vinciamo. Eh. So there are huge expectations for the Italian side. A loss against throne pretenders Norway will be considered a terrible embarrassment. After Norway's 2-1 upset victory over Brazil, the football world is now asking whether Egil Olsen's heroes can hang on to their 17-month unbeaten record for much longer. The answer could be yes. Olsen, nicknamed Professor Drillo, treats soccer like a science and always makes notes of his opposition's weaknesses. At their last training session, the Norwegians went through their usual sprints and practiced a lot of ball movement like precision passing and surprise, surprise, the long ball forward approach. It may be a boring 4-5-1 strategy, but his lonely star forward swears by it. We don't always play the very most beautiful football, but it's very effectively when we, when we are on our best. Norway has never made it into the second round before, and the team is well aware it's going to be a David versus Goliath encounter, but they remain determined. I think uh, if we are playing well and uh, have a good day, we can beat anyone on the day. So uh, it's not uh, impossible, but a very, very hard task for us. The Vikings have conquered the reigning world champions, so past winners could be slightly easier. That's why first-choice goalkeeper Frode Grodas has just two words to say to the Azuri. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Lance Alexander in Marseille for France 98. Okay, Johnny, let's uh, check on the lineup.